Hey, it's build it and I'm back again, building a houseboat in The Sims 3. This is part 3 of my Let's Build series. Hopefully you're enjoying it so far. Uh, we're actually working on the kitchen today. I'm going to basically spend the whole episode coloring everything and getting everything looking good. Um, and all that stuff. So, I'm actually going to put in the chairs right now for the bar. So let's use, I've always liked these for modern houses. We will probably change those. I don't know to what color yet. We'll keep them like that for now. I'm also going to put the trash can right inside next to this. I'm probably gonna do something like tile for the wall. So we'll start with that. <laughs> We'll just color everything first. I think I'll just end it there and then start with something else over here. But one thing I use, I use a lot for my modern houses is uh, a dark wood color in a tile form. So basically just using something like this. Uh, or something like this which looks good as well I think I want to use the wood though for this so I think I might do a solid color maybe red for this oops um, I think I want to use paint though or some kind of rock Ooh. Rock, and then... I don't know where this comes from, actually. It's kind of nice, but not for this one, though. That's a nice texture. Let's see. It's already kind of a red color, so we'll see what we can do with it. I'm not sure if I like that. Like, I, well, I don't like that, actually. <laughs> I really... I don't know. I think I want to do... See, I know what I want to do for the living room. I want to do something something blue. And I actually really like the blue and red color combination. I think it looks really good. So I do want to do something red for the kitchen. I just like red kitchens in general for modern houses. Um, I don't like that texture now with that color. So I'm going to choose something else. I mean, gray could also work for the, for the backsplash. And we could do red, red accents throughout the kitchen and on the wall and back. So that might work better actually. I'm looking for a specific texture that I used before. It's a very like shiny rock texture. <laughs> and that was my front door. <laughs> There's a lot of wind coming in right now so it's... <laughs> that scared the crap out of me, holy crap. If you heard that, which you probably did. Wow. That's good. We'll darken that up though. Like that. And that's a good start, and I actually do like that texture. We might change that later, but I, I kind of like it for now. And I like the, ac the idea of red accents instead of doing totally red uh, backsplash. So we'll do that for now. I want to make this brown like a very modern brown but I want to put in lighting first so we'll put lights in after we'll, but first I want to put in some appliances the oven I want to put probably right here just because I know the counters aren't the counters aren't going to join anyway so I think putting the oven there would be good and I like that oven so we'll use that one for now we'll just add a Microwave. This one. Actually, stainless steel one. Do they even have one of those? No, they don't. Do black. Or we could do we could color it red later if we want to do a red a red accent along this strip. Maybe we'll do that now. Actually, just color that.
In that case, maybe the white one would, work, would look better if we did red there. And until we get lighting in here, we're not going to get a good color. So we'll just do lighting now. Actually, no, we'll put in... What else do you want to put in? First, food processor we need. Which ones do they have? This one? That came from that new restaurant set, so I'm not going to use that one. Uh, don't know where that came from. This one's from base game, so I guess... guess we'll use that one. Stainless steel. Put that... I guess right there is fine. Yeah. Do I want one of these? No, I don't think we have room. We don't have room for any of that stuff, so we'll have to just leave that there. Put in some lights. That's something we need. Actually, I'll put one of these spotlights in above here. That's what I do for a lot of my houses. Right, where? Oh, there we go. I'll move it over a little bit. We'll do this at night, actually, so you can see everything better. I like this drum light. I just really do like it. So I think I'll use this one. Of course, it is kind of low. Um, hmm. I guess it's okay, though. I think it looks good. Of course, we'll put some lights above the, the bar area. I also like these lights, the two-tone light. Well, actually, I like changing it that one color. We'll put, I think one would be good. Right above here. Or two, I don't, maybe two would work better. One there. Let's see. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, that's good. Now we're gonna start doing our cabinets. So I do want to do, I mean, I really don't like the metal texture on this one, so I think I'm just going to do a granite countertop. Uh, probably a darker granite, though, because this is a very modern house, so we'll do that. Go to rock and stone. And then for the wood, we're going to use the modern wood. That might be good for right now. We'll change these and see what it looks like. Of course, you still have to do the tile flooring, which will probably be the same kind of color, maybe a little bit lighter. Same color as the back, backsplash, or maybe the same color as this upper part right here. But I think that looks pretty good for a flooring. Of course, we didn't change the texture of that yet. I'm still not sure on the wood color yet. Of course, we didn't change all of it, so we had to figure that out. I might actually make it more of a reddish brown because of the red accents we're going to put in. Let's see what we can do with the, with the wood color again. Make it a little, red, a little redder. Um, so I'm not sure if that's the same texture as this texture up here, which I normally use for modern houses right here. See, that's actually a lot more modern than what I was do what I was using. So I think the color we had originally is a better, better reddish color. So. I think I'm going to start with that color first. Was it that one? I think it was that one. Or this one. I think it was this one. Drag this to there. And that's a lot nicer, I think. It's a reddish brown. And it's a nicer modern wood tone. I mean, it looks similar. I'm not sure if it's the same exact texture or not. 
um, but it definitely looks better with that coloring. So we'll change everything. Actually, you have to move, change this as well. So we'll do that. I think we're gonna make this red, this color, change that to red. I'm not sure if I want it so in your face like that or what. I'm terrible at matching colors, but that's actually a better red. I wanna do something a little more warmer like that, not so bright. So I might change those as well with that same color or something similar to that later on. But I do like this this uh, this nice reddish brown color for the cabinets and for the counters. I think it's a nice nice color. So that's our kitchen for right now. I do like it. Uh, we have more to do of course, but I want to just step back from that and we'll go into the living room. Or we'll also put some lighting in for table lamps for a modern house. I usually like to use this one. This is my new favorite. Um, so I might do this one. These diesel lamps are actually kind of nice. I might use one of these in the corner over here. And then also a have overhead lamp, ceiling light as well. Put plants on both sides of the TV. For ceiling lights, we can do, I don't want to do the same thing we did in the kitchen. Actually, we don't even have a dining table, and I think we'll have to leave it like that. Maybe we could do, all right, we could do a, a dining area over here, a small dining area. Could work fine. Um, a very small dining area could work over here. So, we'll see how big we can put a table in. I mean... You might have to just do a table up against the wall, but I think that's better than nothing, better than having no dining table other than the island. But, yeah. Or we could do, we could just do a, uh, once a single table like this. It's actually a nice table right there, we could do that. And then, I'll actually put it over here for now so we can just, just mess with it. Turn off move objects so that I don't mess anything up. And I do like, I like these chairs. Um, to move it that away from the door so we can put this fourth chair in. And we'll see if that fits over here. Not really, so we do have to take one of those away, which is fine. Or do we have to put it th that way works, so that might work well. Just putting them right there. So we have our small dining area, very small actually, but it's there. Uh, and it's accessible from the kitchen and living space. And you can still see the TV from over there as well. You can see the TV from the kitchen, which I like the idea of. So it's actually pretty open. I'm, I'm happy with this so far. Let me just put in a ceiling light and we'll call this episode done. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the house so far. So. I actually kind of like this light. It's kind of a, uh, I don't know, I'm always, cautious about lights hanging hanging lights in the living space because I mean in the kitchen it's fine because the cabinets are there as well I might just use this one actually this one's nice put that in the middle and I think we're good for this episode so thanks for watching this episode of let's build a houseboat I'll see you next time Oh crap, <laughs> we messed up the, uh, we messed up the flooring. So I'll fix this and then next episode we'll keep going with the interior and yeah, so thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, bye.